Well, even though I did a live stream about this, that goes for an hour, link posted down below in the description. Check it out for yourselves. In a quick summary, what do we do about this whole David Coote situation? Now, look, as a Liverpool fan, it's a shit go. We can't change the past now. We can't go back and rearrange the score lines and make everything fit or give us anything because that should have gone our way and we would have scored a goal from it or the opposition would have had a player sent off and blah, blah, blah. We can't go back and retroactively change results or alter the course of the games. As people have said, with David Coote's refereeing decisions going against Liverpool, we should have had two or three Premier League titles. No, I don't think we should have had but definitely would have been in with a much better or a better opportunity to win two or three leagues instead of saying we were robbed two or three leagues. And of course, this whole robbed situation, referees, robbed Liverpool, etc., etc., robbed Arsenal, whoever the team is that's the flavor of the month, maybe there is some validity to it now. A couple of weeks ago, I said I don't buy into the conspiracies of referees colluding or being very specific towards certain clubs or players. But you know what? Maybe there is something to it. I'm not saying it's 100% true, but now that we've seen David Kurt with the leaked video, him calling Jurgen Klopp a German c to Liverpool a shit, and then saying this video doesn't go anywhere, meaning that he knows what he said, he knows that it has massive ramifications if it ever came to light, and he knows what he did was wrong, even if he was intoxicated, blitzed out of his skull, and claiming that it was AI at first, and then actually admitting, no, it was me, but then saying that he doesn't remember saying anything at all. It's just a massive clusterfuck of nonsense. David Coote knows what he did. He knows what, what he said. And the travesty in all this is that he kept on refereeing Liverpool matches for two or three seasons, maybe four seasons, because this video apparently was recorded in 2020, 2021, when we were under lockdown, playing behind closed doors, etc. Managed for another two or three years, uh, sorry, refereed for another two or three years while Klopp was still manager here and did not call decisions in our favor when not even possibly, not even should have, but even as blatant as voted in favor four to one in favor of Liverpool, they should have been definitely given in Liverpool's favor. M most notably, people want to talk about the Rodri handball. I don't think Coote was involved in anything in that aspect there, so I'm going to leave him out of that one, the hand of Rod, as people call it. But the Irigi foul at Old Trafford in, in 2019, we ended up scoring late in the game to, to draw the game one all. Um, but Irigi was fouled in the first half, and that foul was not called, even through VAR, when it was clearly cleaned out. No ball was taken whatsoever. Rashford went and scored the opening goal in that game there. We also had the Van Dyke tackle, Pickford on Van Dyke, I should say, 2020, 2021 title defense when this video apparently was recorded, when Van Dyke absolutely cladded, uh, sorry, when <laughs> Pickford cladded Van Dyke and did his ACL. Van Dyke was out for nine months. Our season felt to shit, not because of one player, but then we had multiple injuries in our back line. We're playing midfielders as center backs and also relying on Nat Phillips and Reese Williams in instances and needing Alison Becker, our goalkeeper, to score a winning goal away to West Brom to secure fourth place effectively so we can play in the Champions League once again. Absolute madness that season. But they didn't send off Pickford because they were too caught up in the offside and they didn't think they could go that far back or even call the foul if there was an offside in play. Well, a player gets injured, does his, has his ACL done for the season, and all he says, sorry, but you were offside. There has to be ramifications to that. And that goes for Liverpool players as well if they do something to a player who's in an offside position and they follow through. Same thing goes. There's a consequence to be faced. There's that one there. And the Odegaard handball from last season in the box when Salah snapped his ankles without even touching him. And he handled the ball. David Coote on VAR said, well, no, he's been done by the, the imbalance and he's trying to break his fall. So there's no penalty there. Well, shit. I like to see people defend a no penalty handball. If someone says, I'm, I'm just breaking my fall. Then my, the ball happened to, that my hand slapped the ball away from the opposition player, the attacker going on goal by accident. I like to see them try that one. It's complete bullshit. But... The greater story here now is what happens to the referees now? What happens to referees in the Premier League? Are they going to be able to be trusting of the officials, that being the fans? 
because there was suspicion of corruption. There's, there's always been, ah, uh, the game is fixed, the referee's corrupt, he hates us, he doesn't like this player, doesn't like this manager because he spoke out against them, and now there's a, there, there's something uh, against them now as well. And look, Klopp came in, nice prop primer, happy, smiling, you know, the normal one and all that good stuff. And then after a couple of seasons, spoke out about, about the referees, and then the referees apparently did this to him, if we want to believe that. And look, by all accounts, if David Coote's decisions are anything to go by based on what he said, calling Liverpool shit and Klopp a German cunt, which some people have deemed racist, some people have deemed xenophobic, yeah, xenophobic, I should say, then maybe there is some merit to it. Maybe he had such a disdain for Jurgen Klopp because he didn't like how he spoke to him in a certain ma- a certain game and then decided to just referee him in a different manner to get back at him, which is complete bullshit. That is, in, in a sense, corruption. Yeah, you've been compromised. You can't do your job properly. You should not be doing your job. You should be out of there, sacked, gone, at least not managing Liverpool Football Club at a bare minimum. But ultimately, you should be sacked. Like, he basically did himself. He exposed himself, David Coote, as he did. I mean, why would you allow yourself to be recorded on camera by another another person, like okay, male or female, saying all these things, acknowledging that you know what's happening, and then claiming this doesn't go anywhere, knowing that you've done wrong, and that you should not have said what you said. I don't know who does that. Can clubs, teams, managers, fans, can they now trust referees now? I'm not saying it's going to be everybody, but look, if it if it's happened to one team and if one referee does it, what's there to, to stop others saying which other referee doesn't do, doesn't do it now? The WhatsApp groups, are they deleting the referees groups? Are they deleting all messages and shit they've said about clubs, managers, players that may implicate them in some shithousery as well, in some fuckery? As it were, we don't know. The PGMOL are investigating. They've stood down David Coote. I think he's been suspended. He should be ultimately banned. He should be sacked as a referee, no doubt about it. I don't care about the drug use. That's his own business. But the fact that he said, allegedly, the fact that he said what he said and continue to referee games involving Liverpool FC is the madness here. Like a girl saying there's a conspiracy with the referees. They're out to get us. I'm thinking no chance. But now, maybe there's a slight possibility after seeing this happen it's a complete madness disgraceful behavior doesn't matter if you're a liverpool fan or not could have happened to your club could have been anybody could have called pep guardiola you know man city a shit um you know uh, i think pep's a spanish cunt could have said something like that would have been all the same you wouldn't want him refereeing your matches anymore definitely not so where do we go from here who the hell knows but referees can be compromised and as we've seen they are in some aspects and we don't know what the what the go is now. You can't change the past. You can only help to better the future. And look, if Coot is the canary in the coal mine, then so be it. Let him be the sacrificial lamb to every other referee out there not to do these stupid things because these things could come back to bite you in the ass. You can't be impartial. You can't be unbiased. You can't be fair. You can't be rational when you have said such things about a certain team or a club and then acted in a way that adds fuel to the fire that you do not like this team, manager, club, or player. It could all be circumstantial, but as it stands, as I see it now, the evidence just looks to be in favor of the team on the backing of corruption, for lack of a better word. David Coote. What a guy. David Coote is what we should be calling him. Anyways, that's the video. Link to the full commentary, reaction, thoughts down below. Have yourselves a good day.